Esperance, a holiday resort par excellence. It's a remote town located in the southeast quarter of Western Australia, and it takes a while to drive there. It's said to have the best beaches in Australia, and they are impressive, and it's been voted as number two tourist town. The town's population is, I guess, about 20,000 people, well spread out along the Southern Ocean. There are many cycle routes and walking trails in Esperance, and walking is heavily promoted. It's a very scenic town and there's a lot to see when you walk. The centre of the town is graced by large Norfolk pines planted in the early 1900s. My name's Don and I stayed at the Esperance Seafront Caravan Park during my one week stay in Esperance. My first stop was the Visitor Centre. Esperance once advertised itself as the Goldfields Port and it presents itself as a very attractive place in the tourist literature. Ahead of such country towns as Broome and Margaret River. Twilight Beach in the upper right is a stunning place to visit, as is the museum in the bottom left. Near the museum is a stunning little park, which is described in the bottom right window. As you can see, the beaches are impressive, but there are strong and cool winds on the Southern Ocean coming from the Antarctic. Sammy, the sea lion, lives at the tanker jetty and is always looking for scraps of fish to eat. He's a major entertainment for the tourists. Walks along the sandy beaches during the orange and crimson sunsets are a memorable experience. There to be good fishing off the tanker jetty and lots of fishermen take advantage of this Timbers of local jetties have been salvaged by local residents and grace the front of their properties. The Salmon Beach Wind Farm was Australia's first and was connected to the power grid in April 1987. 